Hello and welcome. Today's demonstration is going to be using the CyberArk Central Credential Provider to do per host lookup on passwords inside of the Ansible Automation platform. So I am going to be using Tower at the time of this viewing. We may be calling it Control by then, so just know that they are one and the same. I'm going to start by taking a look at the playbook associated with it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and run this cyber arc aim password per host job template that I've created, but it's really just calling this playbook right here. So there's a couple of different, well, I'm sure there's multiple different ways. I'm looking at two <clears throat> different ways that I could be actually pulling this information. One is with the password lookup plugin. So I don't have access to the central credential provider software that I can install on my machine. I'm still trying to get that. And if I can, I will do that and do an update. But if you take a look here, it's uh it's we're basically doing it in the exact same way except i'm doing a lookup plugin here where it will look up via the cyber arc password kind of command line program that's installed the central credential provider software it'll do the query there and it's assigning ansible password in my case however <clears throat> i'm doing it with just the um, cyber arc collection and uh, specifically the cyber arc credential module so it's using that module and it does the lookup. Um, you have to specify kind of what your server information is, the uh, app ID, the query statements, certificates. This is where the magic really happens, the query. So what I'm doing is I'm looking in safe test and I'm looking at an object and you can see here that I'm doing variable replacement as the inventory name. So it's going to loop through all three of my objects. I've got three in this inventory. It's uh, SW1, SW2, SW3. And so as it uh, connects to each client, it's going to look up in CyberArk infrastructure vault test and inventory name of that host name. So if I take a look at my vault, here it is the standard vault. I'm going to log in. I'm going to look at vault name test right here. I'm going to open it up and I can see I have multiple password objects in here, but particularly I've got one that's switch one, switch two, and switch three. And so these are all going to have unique passwords unto themselves. And so that's kind of how I'm tying the two systems together, right? The inventory host name matches precisely what it's going to be inside the vault. That's how I do the one to one lookup. So I look those up and then in the uh, next task, I am setting the Ansible password as that returned password value from CyberArk. So also notice that on these two objects, I have, or rather these two tasks, I have the no log true option, which basically means it's not going to spit out any logging information to the, to the command line, right? So I can't see it in debugging. It's going to keep those passwords safe and secure. And then the very last task I'm doing is I am just going to log into those devices and do a show ver, right? They're uh, Cisco 3550 switches. So if I pop back over to my tower environment, I'm going to take a look right over here. I see the output. So it did the credential retrieval. So it was able to successfully connect to CyberArk and then it set the uh, password per. And remember, we had no log. So if I click it, it's going to have the output obfuscated, right? It had the no log option. And then ultimately it was able to connect to the switch using the password I just specified and correctly do a show ver. So this would give us the ability to, <clears throat> excuse me, it would give us the ability to uh, log into three switches, 10 switches, a thousand different nodes, hosts. A really cool feature about the CyberArk infrastructure is it has the ability to uh, monitor when a password is actually retrieved, utilized, and then it can individually go in and change that password. So theoretically, if this was a thousand servers, every time I log in, retrieve, perform some automation, it will then reset it to another randomized password on both the server and on the CyberArk uh, central credential provider server. So you could have a unique password per server and it will always keep those rotated. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you know of a better way of uh, executing this task, please let me know. Thanks and uh, have a good one.